And with the help of Dr. Dre, one of the great icons of this industry, and Jimmy Iovine from Interscope Music, uh, we've done something really special in terms of marketing with Beats and also with the help of all of you. So we're going to unveil three new products here at the show. Okay, so uh, how about counting the three, folks? One, one, one two, two, three. three. Woo! Yes! So these are, the beats. these are the Beats uh, Solo HD. Everybody know what HD means? Yeah. High, high definition. So we're listening high definition, folks. Uh, it is uh, gloss black instead of the matte black for the solos that we came out with at the end of last year. So you have it here in gloss black, gloss white, and what we introduced with uh, Lady Gaga uh, earlier this afternoon, uh, the solo red. So uh, let's give a hand if you like the way these things look. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the DJ culture is exploding. And you know, with Dre uh, doing the uh, studios, we want to hear it like it is in a recording studio. We will also want to design a product so you hear it like it is in the clubs. Because all the other people, you know, I, I want to hear it like I hear it when I go to the club. Uh, I also want to, you know, not always have noise canceling. I don't want to replace the batteries. Uh, but we wanted to provide something that was truly professional that not only professional DJs could use, but uh, anybody in a recording studio could use, and anybody who's aspiring to hear the same sound that a DJ hears uh, when they're mixing, and also the sound when a uh, recording engineer hears. Like, for example, mixing. if you're living on GarageBand, these are the headphones for you. If okay. You're, if you're mixing in a nightclub, these are the headphones for you. All right, so Jimmy, you would drink a little bit. Oh, I didn't uh, I saw <laughs> you do a All right, one, two, three again. Can right. we do? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. These are my favorite. Anyway, these things, these things are incredible. You know, it's taken us a long time with Robert Bruno, Noel, and Dre to come up with a design that we felt just was the top of the line of DJ headphones, but that also worked in a studio that could also work for when you're doing vocals in a studio, that also work just, you know, hanging out, listening to your music. And these headphones combine great sound and great fashion and great style. And the, I think these are the epitome of, of what we've done so far, these things. So what we're gonna do is take these out of the case, and uh, uh, this is called the Beats Spin. And I'm gonna demonstrate for a second, uh, right now, why we call it Spin. All right, so we got the regular headphone here, and then DJs, what they like to do is they like to listen while they're spinning. Well, usually they have to go like this. Well, not with these. You know this. All right, so uh, very quickly, the cable, if you notice, there is Sorry, a connection okay. on either ear cup. Okay. You can actually take it out and put it in the other ear cup so that you're not locked down to one side or the other. You can also, da also daisy chain these to another set of headphones. Mm -hmm. nice. so, so in other words, if you want to share the sound, yeah, I'll just yeah, plug yeah. it to the other uh, ear cup and then uh, you're both listening to the same thing. You guys like that? Yeah. Yes. Let's give a hand for Beats. Yes. Spin it, please. There's only been three people that have ever taken music and fashion and turn it into a real business. And that's Russell Simmons, Jay-Z, and Diddy, the person who's here tonight to work with us. So we went out, we reached out to Diddy, Dre and I, and said, look, why don't you come and make design and work on the sound with us and the feel of these headphones for popular culture, and let's push them out and show what we can do. Because Sean John, his records, Bad Boy, Biggie, his own records, it's all so incredible that we thought the combination of that and being one of the three people that have only, uh, that out of everyone's ever made record that have succeeded at this particular thing, people talk about 360, he's 361. And uh, I want to introduce him because he's a friend of ours, but he's also the epitome of what the record industry is trying to do. I'd like to get you to come up here one second right now. And <laughs> Hello, people. How you doing? Um, th th this is a very, very, very big day for me. I remember the first day that I actually heard my first Dr. Dre record. Um, it's something that changes your life, you know? 
And it's the same thing when you hear, when you put on some beats. It, it, it changes your life, because you finally hear the truth. You finally hear what things are, post, are supposed to sound like. Um, this partnership is very, very unique, uh, inspiring in so many ways. It's really the epitome of how we're supposed to be working with each other and not against each other, and doing it through what we love, which is music. And when we talk about the Diddy Beats, being able to follow these things that Dre has put together, um, first of all, the, these right here, the, the, the studio joints, and the DJ joints, those are off the chain right there. You know what I'm saying? Just from the way they look, I need a pair immediately. But every artist, he left out the artists that are in the studio working on their albums. Um, that's something that, that, that I know that I would love to have. And I'm proud of him. And I'm proud of Jimmy and Monster for putting that together. But the Diddy Beats or the Beats by Dre are not just for hip hop music. They're for your classical, Enthusiasts, they're for your, your Sarah Vaughan, Billie Holiday, John Coltrane fans. They're for country music. They're for rock and roll. They put, play the Nirvana album and some of these joints right here. It'll blow your mind. You'll finally hear what Kurt Cobain and them was trying to do. And when we got together, we wanted to fuse fashion and we wanted to fuse sound. And we wanted to take two of the most successful producers in hip hop history and put them together and do something that's never been done. One of the things that, that Beats by Dre doesn't have is, 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 is some high fashion buds. And so I'm here today to help introduce the Diddy Beats. Yeah. And these buds are made, I got together, and you heard about this guy, but this guy can't get enough praise. Robert Bruner, he's probably one of the best designers that I've ever worked with, and I've designed a lot of things. Give him another round of applause. Yeah. 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 But, you know, I wanted something that, that really spoke my language. I wanted something that had leather on it. I wanted something that had a certain, I know I'm not supposed to be showing them now, but you will see it. <laughs> but I wanted something that, 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 that looked like fashion, but just wasn't all about fashion. It was the way it looked in your ear, and, and, and the way it felt when you pulled it out your pocket, and the way it looked to other people, but most importantly, the way it sounded. And so, that's the Diddy Beats. All right, Diddy. Uh, why don't you come on to that side, we'll all, all right. together, okay? I need everybody to hit me with the count of three. Hit me with the one, two, three, and we're gonna do it. One, two, three! Yeah! Let's give it a hand. Beats right there. Right now, we have three skews on these. We have black, y'all see those right there? Let me put them in my ear for you right there. You see those? Yeah. Let's see the finishing. We have white, which is my favorite color. Y'all know the white is my favorite color. See, you see, you see what she just did? She said, what? Ooh, the pink. Because y'all know, you know, over the last couple of years, I just had three daughters. In honor of women, I love women. Here's the powder pink right here. Yeah. This is something that nobody has. Ladies, y'all like these ladies? Yeah. Woo! Come on, ladies, let's get loud on that. Ladies, y'all like the powder pink ladies? Yeah. Okay, these right here, these are the Diddy Beats. We starting with this. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here. I want to thank Jimmy. I want to thank the headmaster right there, Paul, on that. I want to thank my man right here. Appreciate you having me. Thank you, man. Thank you. And of course, Dr. Dre, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of your biggest fans. You're my hero. Thanks for having me.